What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is a matchup between two 4 inch 4G touchscreen phones on T Mobile. It's a Prize Fight punch out between T Mobile's G2X and HTC's Sensation 4G. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Bonnie Boom Shakalaka Cha, senior editor Nicole It's So Cold Lee, and myself, Ring a Ling a Ding Tong. Now we'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. It's five rounds to the finish, so let's get it on. Round one is designed. T-Mobile's G2X has a solid design with a matte finish on the back. Its camera lens puts a little bump in its trunk, but this is a classy phone with a vibrant 4-inch 800 by 480 touchscreen display. HTC Sensation 4G ups the ante with a 4.3 inch QHD display that's even crisper with a 960 by 540 resolution, but not as bright. Now we all liked its contoured body, but its sweeping three-tone pattern on the back reminds me of a girl's skirt, but it doesn't hurt it here. The Sensation 4G takes the first round with a 4.7 and the G2X gets a solid 4. Next round is controls and user interface. This round isn't easy when the T-Mobile's G2X brings a pure stock Android experience. There's no bells and whistles and it makes for a clean design. You'll still get widget customization and if you want more good news, it feels a tad bit snappier to use. Now HTC Sensation 4G brings the next generation of its user interface with an even sexier design. Yep, I just called an OS sexy. Now there's seven home screens and flashier animations across the board. The Sense UI has always been a favorite of ours and it just gets the edge with a perfect five and the G2X gets a 4.7. So after averaging two rounds, the Sensation 4G leads by half a point with plenty of fight left. Next round is features. Both of these phones are pretty evenly matched with dual core processors, eight megapixel cameras, Android's turn by turn maps and voice to text and HSPA plus compatibility, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now you'll find everybody's favorite swipe keyboard technology on the G2X. It also comes preloaded with eight gigs of internal storage space and an additional micro SD card slot to add more storage. The main difference here is that it's currently running only Android 2.2 with a gingerbread update coming soon. Now HTC Sensation 4G is preloaded with gingerbread and you'll get some of the cool benefits like a much better cut, copy and paste, an application task killer or launching apps directly from the lock screen. It comes with its own flavor of swipe called Trace, but it tends to be a little less accurate at times. The Sensation also gives you access to only one gig of internal storage space, and the micro SD card slot is occupied with an eight gig card, which limits some of your flexibility out of the box. We're calling this round even at four. Next up is web browsing and multimedia. Web browsing is a push and a pretty similar experience on both phones. The Sensation was a tad faster at pinching and zooming, but in many cases, the G2X was a beat faster when loading pages. The G2X features an 8 megapixel camera with a single flash and a micro HDMI port for video out, while the Sensation brings an 8 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash. Both cameras record and playback 1080p video sources, but we had mixed opinions with the image quality of their pictures. The Sensation 4G also brings the Watch app that allows users to rent or buy movies directly from their phones. But in the end, the Sensation 4G gets a 4.7 and the G2X gets a 4.3. So after averaging four rounds, HTC leads by just three tenths of a point. The final round that decides it all is all quality and performance. T-Mobile's G2X was excellent with its clear and crisp sound quality with little to no distortion or static in the background. It was also the snappier performing phone between the two with its dual core Tegra 2 processors and menus that jump instantly from one to another. Now the Sensation 4G sounded excellent as well. The speakerphone wasn't as strong, but regular voice calls were pretty clear. Qualcomm's new dual core processor kept things running smoothly, but maybe the Sense UI's animations were a little too taxing, but this phone was still a tiny step behind and you can feel it. The G2X gets a perfect five and HTC gets a four. So let's average out all the scores and in a prize fight where HTC Sensation 4G took an early lead, T-Mobile's G2X stormed back, but it just wasn't enough, and the Sensation takes this battle 4.5 to 4.4 and is your prize fight winner. T-Mobile brings two heavy hitting contenders that you can't go wrong with, but the final decision, as usual, is up to you. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Woo